This country was home to the dodo bird before its extinction. Hello, welcome to Opentiera. Today we're exploring Mauritius, a captivating island nation in the Indian Ocean, known for its stunning beaches, vibrant coral reefs, and rich cultural heritage shaped by diverse communities. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of Mauritius, from its geography to its amazing culture. Mauritius is an island nation located in the Indian Ocean east of Madagascar, with a total land area of just over 2,000 square kilometers. It is geographically quite small, but is home to over 1 million people. The country includes the main island of Mauritius, as well as several smaller islands. Mauritius is located about 800 kilometers east of Madagascar and 900 kilometers off the southeastern coast of Africa. It has a strategic location on major sea lanes in the southwestern Indian Ocean. It claims a 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone around its islands. It maintains sovereignty over the Chagos archipelago, including Diego Garcia, despite the islands being controlled by the United Kingdom. The terrain of Mauritius is volcanic in origin, with a central plateau that is encircled by rugged mountains. The highest peak is Piton de la Petite Rivière Noire at 828 meters. It also has significant coastal plains, especially on the western side. The island has a tropical climate with warm temperatures year-round. The central plateau has cooler temperatures and much of the rainfall. The original native vegetation of Mauritius was tropical dry broadleaf forests, but much of this has been cleared for agriculture. There are still remnants of native forest reserves, especially in the mountains and on some offshore islets. The country was once home to the dodo bird, which went extinct shortly after human settlement. Today, the protection of the ocean environment around Mauritius is a priority. The islands have beautiful beaches that attract tourists. Around 1.2 million people reside in Mauritius, according to World Bank data. The population of Mauritius is made up of several ethnic groups. The two largest groups are Indo-Mauritians, who make up 68% of the population, and Creoles, who make up 27%. Indo-Mauritians trace their ancestry to India, mostly from Bihar, Uttar Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. The Creole population is predominantly of African and Malagasy descent, with some European and Indian ancestry. Other smaller ethnic groups include Sino-Mauritians, Franco-Mauritians and Mauritians of European descent. Mauritius does not have an official state religion. However, Hinduism is the dominant religion and is practiced by 48% of the population. Most Hindus are Indo-Mauritians. Around 26% of Mauritians identify as Roman Catholic and 17% are Muslim. Other minority religions include Christianity and Buddhism. The constitution of Mauritius does not specify an official language. However, the most widely spoken language is Mauritian Creole, spoken as a mother tongue by the majority of the population. Along with French and English, Creole is considered one of the country's national languages. French is used as the language of government administration and the media. English is taught in schools and is important in business and commerce. Other languages spoken in Mauritius include Bhojpuri, Hindi, Tamil, Marathi, Telugu and Urdu, reflecting the Indian origins of much of the population. With a diverse population hailing from India, China, Europe and Africa, Mauritius has developed a unique culinary identity that brings these traditions together. Let's take a look at a few iconic Mauritian dishes. Bol renversé is a hearty Mauritian comfort food often served at celebratory events like weddings. It features slow-cooked curry with different types of meat like lamb, chicken or seafood layered over rice and then inverted onto a plate when served. Peas and potato chips add texture. 
Mauritian biryani combines the Indian rice dish with local influences. Chicken or lamb is spiced with cumin, coriander, saffron and other aromatic Indian flavors, then layered with long grain basmati, rice and potatoes. It is cooked in a pot known as a degchi. A tasty Indian street food adopted in Mauritius is dol puri. It features a flatbread called puri that is filled with yellow split peas, curry and ground chilies. Crunchy and spicy, dol puri can be eaten any time of day for a quick snack. Putu are little parcels of steamed rice flour that can be eaten sweet or savory. The sweet version contains coconut, nutmeg, cardamom, saffron and vanilla for a dessert-like texture and flavor. Savory puto feature cucumber, curry leaves, chili, thyme and other herbs. The island of Mauritius was uninhabited until the 16th century. The first record of human activity dates back to 1598, when Dutch sailors landed on the island. However, the Dutch did not establish a permanent settlement. In the 17th century, the Dutch introduced sugarcane from Java, starting the long association of Mauritius with sugar production. The first permanent settlement was founded in 1721 by the Dutch who named the island after Dutch ruler Prince Maurice van Nassau. In 1715, the French claimed Mauritius and renamed it Ile de France. Under the French East India Company, the island became a trade base and naval center. The capital Port Louis was founded in 1735. The French introduced additional crops like coffee and cotton that thrived in the tropical climate. During the Napoleonic Wars, Ile de France was captured by Britain in 1810, handing over formal control in the Treaty of Paris in 1841. Under British rule, Mauritius remained an important sugar-producing colony. The British abolished slavery in 1835 bringing in indentured laborers from India to work the plantations. The Indian community grew steadily, outnumbering other ethnic groups. The country gained independence from Britain in 1968 and became a republic in 1992. The country developed into a stable democracy with a strong economy. Today, Mauritius has transitioned from an agriculture-based economy to a diversified one focused on tourism, textiles and financial services. The country has attracted foreign investors and businesses with its skilled workforce and attractive business climate. It ranks highly on economic and governance indicators for Africa. Over the past few decades, Mauritius has developed from a low-income, agriculture-based economy to an upper-middle-income, diversified economy. The country has achieved steady growth and rising living standards, boosting it to one of the strongest economies in Africa. Its GDP is roughly $12.9 billion as of 2022, according to World Bank data. The economy is based on sugar, tourism, textiles and apparel, and financial services. Sugarcane is still grown on about 90% of the cultivated land area and the country produces about 20% of the world's sugar from cane. However, sugar production has declined in importance. Tourism has grown rapidly with over 1.3 million tourists visiting annually. The textile industry employs about 15% of the workforce. Mauritius also serves as a regional hub for investment and financial services. Mauritius has undergone a remarkable economic transformation since independence in 1968. The government has promoted export-oriented industries, economic diversification and foreign investment. This has allowed Mauritius to become one of Africa's most competitive economies. The country ranks highly on good governance indicators. Its GDP per capita increased from under $500 in the 1960s to over $10,000 today. However, Mauritius faces challenges sustaining its growth, including rising income inequality, high public debt, skills shortages, 
and vulnerability to external shocks. Environmental concerns like loss of forest cover and threatened coral reefs must also be addressed. Mauritian culture is a blend of influences from the various ethnic groups that inhabit the islands, as well as colonizers like the French and British. The culture is a blend that creates a distinctive Mauritian identity. The Sega music genre with its mix of African, Malagasy and European influences is iconic Mauritian folk music. Sega is usually fast-paced and accompanied by singing and improvised dancing. Other musical forms like Indian classical music and Bhojpuri folk songs are also popular. Traditional Mauritian dance blends, African and Indian movements. Mauritius has a strong literary tradition in French. Well-known Mauritian writers include Ananda Devi and Shanaz Patel, who draw upon the island's history and cultural diversity. Mauritian literature in Creole has grown since the 2000s. If you enjoyed this video on Mauritius, you'll love this next one.